seven, eight, and nine, we are finding solutions in our interval. Um, this time we're going to use our sum and difference formulas. And so, not only are we going to need our handy dandy table that we usually have, you'll also want to have your sum and difference identities. So, sine of A, cosine of B, plus cosine of A, sine of B is the sine of A plus B, and so forth. Mostly we'll just use the sine and the cosine ones, but those are the ones you want to have, those sum and difference formulas. Again, keep those handy. I'm not going to switch back and forth because it erases my board, but you will want to have the sum and difference formulas. So if you don't have them, go to the resources to the dictionary, type in sum or difference, and it should give you that as one of your choices so you can print those out or find them in your notes from before. We have used them before. And so going over here, whoops, going over here, if I can get over here, we have the sine of 3x cosine of x plus cosine of 3x sine of x. So sine cosine plus cosine sine. If you look at your sum and difference formulas, that's the sine of a plus b. So I'm going to have the sine of 3x plus x which is going to be the sine of 4x to equal our 1. Now we're going to do it like we did the previous problems. We're going to pretend that we're just going to do the sine of x equals 1 and look those up. So on my paper, where does the sine equal 1 pi over 2? And that's my only answer, pi over 2. So normally we have pi over 2 plus 2k pi with k being an element of z. However, we're going to use 4x instead of x. I should have left myself a little bit more room. 4x is equal to that, so in order to solve that, we have to multiply by 1 fourth. So I've got to take 1 fourth times that. Well, 1 fourth times pi over 2 would be pi over 8, plus 1 fourth times 2 would be 2 fourths, or 1 half, so k pi over 2, with k being an element of z. <clears throat> Again, we want all of the answers between 0 and 2 pi. So if this is 0, we just get our starting one, which is pi over 8. We're going to add 1 half pi each time. So if I have pi over 8, and I add pi over 2, in terms of 8's, I would have 4 pi over 8. So pi over 8 plus 4 pi over 8 would be 5 pi over 8. Then I'm going to take my 5 pi over 8. I'm going to add my pi over 2, which is the same thing as 4 pi over 8, which gives me 9 pi over 8, still less than 2 pi. So I'm going to take my 9 pi over 8, add my pi over 2, which is the same thing as 4 pi over 8, that gives me 13 pi over 8. Still, that's less than 2. 13 divided by 8 is 1 point something. So 13 pi over 8. We'd have to get to 16 to get to 2 pi. So 13 pi over 8 plus another 4 pi over 8 is 17 pi over 8. Ah, that's bigger than 16. That one's too big. So these are going to be our four answers if we're trying to stay between 0 and 2 pi pi over 8, 5 pi over 8, 9 pi over 8, and 13 pi over 8. So we started with our beginning value. We added 1 half pi, or pi over 2 each time. You could use your calculator, 1 eighth plus 1 half, plus 1 half, plus 1 half, plus 1 half, until you get too big. <clears throat> Number 8, same kind of thing. I have 2 sine of 5x cosine of x minus 2 cosine 5x sine of x. If I factor out the 2, I would have sine of 5x cosine of x minus cosine of 5x sine of x equals 1. So if I divide by that, I would have sine of 5x cosine of x minus cosine of 5x sine of x equals 1 half. This again is one of my formulas. Sine cosine minus cosine sine. So if you look up your sum and difference, 
for sine and cosine minus cosine sine, it is the sine of a minus b, so 5x minus x. I'm trying to subtract already. 5x minus x to equal my 1 half. So the sine of 4x would equal 1 half. Again, we're going to look up where does the sine of x equals 1 half. <clears throat> so sine equals 1 half at pi over 6. I'll put plus my 2k pi. And then also equals 1 half at 5 pi over 6. Again, that's just equal to x. We really want to have 4x equals that. So we're going to multiply by 1 fourth to solve. So, this would give me pi over 24, plus this would be pi over 2, k pi over 2. This is going to give me 5 pi over 24, plus again, that would reduce down 2 fourths is the same thing as 1 half, so k pi over 2. But of course, they don't want it in that form. They want every single angle that's between 0 and 2 pi. So I'm going to start with pi over 24. Because if this is 0, I would get pi over 24. I'm going to keep adding pi over 2. So if I add plus pi over 2, that would be 20, nope, that would be 12. 24ths. So 1 24th plus 12 24ths would be 13 24ths. So I'm going to take my 13 24ths plus 12 again 24ths, which gives me 25 24ths. So 25 pi over 24. 25 24ths plus 12 24ths would give me 37. 24ths. I'd have to get to 48 to be too big. So 37 24ths plus 12 24ths would give me 49 24ths. That's going to be more than 2 because I'd have 48 would be double, so that'd be too big. So I'm going to have those four answers from just this. I still have to do this one. So going over here, I'm going to have 5 pi over 24. I'm just going to add it over here. 5 pi over 24. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my 5 pi over 24. I'm going to add pi over 2, which again was 12 24. So 5 plus 12 would give me 17 24. 17 pi over 24 adds to my list. So 17 24 plus 12 24 would give me 29 24. So 29 pi over 24 added to my list. Plus 12 24 again would give me 941. That's still small enough because 48 would be too big. 41 pi over 24, and then if I add another 12, I'm going to be at 53, 24, so that one's going to be too big for sure. So I'm going to have eight answers, pi over 24, 13 pi over 24, 25 pi over 24, 37 pi over 24, then for my second set, 5 pi over 24, 17 pi over 24, 29 pi over 24, and 41 pi over 24. So all eight of those things are going to go in for my answers. I got four from the first one, four from the second one that all fit between 0 and 2 pi. Number nine. This time we have cosine of x, cosine of 2x. 
minus sine of x sine of 2x equals negative 1. So again, if I look at my difference formulas, cosine cosine minus sine sine means I'm going to have the cosine of a plus b if I look at my formulas. So cosine of a plus b would be x plus 2x to equal my negative 1. So the cosine of 3x would equal negative 1. Of course, we're going to start by looking where does the cosine of x equals negative 1. So on my paper, cosine of x equals negative 1 just at pi. Pi plus 2k pi with k being an element of z. 3x is going to equal that. So in order to solve that, I'm going to multiply by 1 third. So I'm going to have 1 third pi plus 2k pi over 3, with of course k being an element of z. <clears throat> so 1 third pi is the same thing as pi over 3. I'm going to add 2 thirds. So 1 third plus 2 thirds would be 3 thirds, which would just be pi then. Right? 3 thirds is the same thing as pi. Pi plus 2 thirds. 3 thirds plus 2 thirds would be 5 thirds. So 5 pi over 3. 5 thirds plus 2 thirds is 7 thirds. 7 thirds is too big because 6 thirds would be 2 pi. So pi over 3, pi, and 5 pi over 3 would be your answers. So if you're bad with fractions, use your calculator. Pi over 3 is the same thing as 1 third. 1 third plus 2 thirds gives you 3 thirds, or pi. Pi plus 2 thirds, 1 plus 2 thirds is 5 thirds, and so forth. And so I'm going to keep going until I get bigger than 2 pi, which in case this case would be 6 thirds is the same thing as 2, so I stop there at 5 pi over 3. <coughs>